minutes this morning and do our little tiger cub gender reveal and we thought what the heck uh, boo at the zoo starts tomorrow we might as well do it in our uh, where our hay maze is do a little uh, Halloween theme and one of the deals with a gender reveal for tigers really cats uh, in general is and and I've seen a lot of cats over the years it, it can be really tough to be confident about the gender of, of a newborn tiger. So we wanted to give it a couple days. These tiger cubs were born this past Monday. We wanted to give it a couple days to make sure that we were confident in what we're about to reveal. But we thought, heck, it's, it is, you know, the Halloween season, Boo at the Zoo starts tomorrow. So we called a couple local experts to really just make sure that, that we had it right. So if I could get our experts to come out. <sighs> Oh, oh, boy. Oh. So, ah. We brought in Witch Val and Witch Francis, and uh, we're we're gonna see here. Now remember, we're doing Facebook Live, so in your in your you're gonna have to be make sure. So anyway, speak loudly yes. so everybody can hear me. <laughs> so with that, we'll let the uh, gender re reveal begin. Double, double, toil and trouble. Four tiger cubs makes quite rubble. Sanjeev and Ginger had lots of fun. What is gender of tiger one? Uh-oh. I hear the clicking. Ginger is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I sense it. The cubs are having issues. Cub number one is a boy. It's a boy. Cute pink nose. A boy to keep mom on her toes. That's more jello in this stew. What is the gender of tiger tail? <laughs> Could it be another boy? Oh my goodness. Two another boys. Another boy? They're great. A streak of males cannot be our fate. Oh, bubbly cauldron, hear our plea. What is the gender of Tiger 3? A, a girl? A girl! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Two boys and one girl? At last, a girl! What the beauty of brain? Three cubs can drive a keeper insane. Poor Mama and Jin. Poor Mama Jin did this to war. What is the gender of Tiger 4? <laughs> Another boy. So with that, I want to give a big round of applause to our visiting experts. With that, we are thrilled to announce that we are now the home of four additional tigers, Sumatran tigers, critically endangered tigers, uh, with a ratio of wheat call 3.1, three males, one female. And the next big part of this is how the heck are we going to name it? Well, we've got four cubs. We need four different ways to name each one. And I want to kind of give you the quick overview of that. The female cub is actually going to be named here at the zoo by our staff, docents, volunteers, interns. And, um, and as for the three male cubs, one of them is going to be named by a family who has done incredibly generous work in this community, literally for decades. Uh, they continue to support not just uh, Topeka and Shawnee County is a great place to live, work, and play, uh, but they make things happen at the zoo like they do throughout the community, and we're excited that uh, they're going to get a little bit of reward for some of that work that they've done. Another of the male tiger cubs is going to be named by a community partner. Uh, Blind Tiger has been a business partner of this zoo for years but beyond that blind tiger supports tiger conservation uh, not just at the zoo but their patrons support it by drinking tiger bite ipa of which a portion of each draw that is sold comes back here uh, from our zoo it goes to the tiger ssp uh, to the 
uh, Wildlife Conservation Society and directly employs a ranger that works on the ground in Southeast Asia uh, working to save these tigers where they live. It's a perfect example of how Topekans make a difference around the world, and it all starts with blind tigers. So we're thrilled, Jay, that number one, that you're here, and number two, that you'll get to participate in this. Thanks for all the great work that you do. Thanks. The remaining tiger cub is going to be named by the community, and the way to do that is starting tomorrow, Anybody that comes to the zoo, and tomorrow's the first day of Boo at the zoo, uh, anybody that comes to the zoo is gonna get a little ticket and they'll get to vote for one of three different names. And now the pressure's on, because I see our staff back there, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna listen to me pronounce one of these wrong, I just know it, so correct me if I do. Uh, the community's gonna be able to vote on three different names for Boyd Cub number one and the first name is Badar. Badar happens to be the name of the ranger who works in Southeast Asia, and it'd be our way of saying a little tribute to the great work that he does. The second name is Ika, which is Indonesian for firstborn. Uh, as the first cub that was born in this litter, um, we thought that that was fitting. And the third option that people will have to vote on is Lestari, which means everlasting. And it's kind of symbolic of the fact that this is a critically endangered species with less than 500 tigers living in the wild. Uh, we've got to do a lot of work if that species is truly going to be everlasting. The public naming contest that will occur here at the zoo, it begins tomorrow with the first day of Boo at the Zoo. It will end on the last day of Boo at the Zoo on October 27th. So you've got about eight days to come out, uh, cast your vote, uh, you can go see uh, Sanjeev, the tiger's father, uh, but mom and the cubs will continue to be back inside in the den for probably another uh, two and a half months or so. Uh, but you can always check them out on the KTWU webcams. And at this point, I think I'm gonna pause there and see if anybody here has any questions. How are they doing? Uh, they're doing great. Um, Mom's doing great. I will tell you that four cubs is a lot of cubs. And um, man, the patience that, that mom has is just amazing. And uh, they're getting pushy, uh, they're getting stronger, uh, they're doing everything that they should be doing. There is, um, we have heard a question about the one that's off by itself in the den box. And if I say something wrong, you guys please correct me. But what we think is that that's a cub that's being rotated by mom. So it, you may turn the tiger webcams on and see a cub laying off in the back. Uh, it's frequently a different cub. Uh, she'll keep three tucked in and uh, kind of let one have some alone time and then switch those out. So uh, we think they're all doing really good. Anybody else? Well, what does this mean for the future of like tigers here at Tiga Zoo, having four now. Uh, it's going to mean a bigger meat bill for one thing, uh, <laughs> but beyond that, it's, uh, it's really great for the, the tiger program overall. I mean, our goal is that we manage enough healthy, genetically healthy tigers that we can uh, protect a population under human care for a hundred years. And the reality is, as uh, collectively zoos across the country uh, zoos across the world, we don't have enough Sumatran tigers to do that yet. So this birth of four uh, represents uh, a lot of diversity and the opportunity, um, at least in North America, our goal is to have 150 Sumatran tigers. And right now, uh, this makes 83. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but this, this is a positive step in the right direction. And so they will stay all in Topeka, all four, that's the plan. As for the future of these individual tigers, uh, it's, it's all about the genetics. Uh, I don't know who owns these tigers. Uh, ownership really isn't important in endangered species anymore. Our goal is that they're where they need to be to uh, give back to the, the genetic population, if you will. And 
what we think is that they'll be here for at least two years. Uh, they could be here for as long as five years. Um, it's just when that right opportunity comes up for them to be matched with a different genetic set, uh, that's when uh, one or multiples of them will move on. We think this is probably Jinja's last litter. Uh, she had a litter of three, she had a litter of four, that's seven cubs. There's 83 in the genetic population. So her genetics are very well represented at this point. Uh, now whether, whether she stays or moves on, that's all to be decided. And we're, uh, our position is just to go with the flow, um, to do whatever is best for the tigers. And uh, if that means she stays here, if that means she moves on, um, that's what we'll do. We obviously have a staff here that manages tigers very well and manages the breeding program very well. And so that uh, that consortium of zoos that manages that tiger population, they've got to be really happy with the Topeka Zoo. Oh, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a great tiger program here that, uh, and it's really one of our best well-rounded animal programs. And what I mean by that is they're a critically endangered species. Uh, we're participants of an active breeding program with that endangered species. Uh, we have an education component uh, that travels through the community, also at the exhibit, and our community participates actively in the conservation of tigers, not just here, but in the rain country half a world away as well. We do have some materials that we're going to give you as you leave. Um, this is the nutshell version of what I just said, along with the spells that our guest witches read, uh, and then some bullet points both on Boo at the Zoo, which is tomorrow and next Saturday, and then a new event this year that is Pumpkin Bash. Uh, it's a family-friendly uh, evening Halloween-themed fun event that is tomorrow night from six to nine. And of course, you can get more information about all of this at our website, uh, topekazoo.org. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here.